Haas Hancock, and Wes Farmer. What's going on, boys? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? doing? Good, man. Doing good. I, I've been wanting this podcast to happen for a while now, and I'm so happy that I got y'all here in the studio. I'm sorry it's so cold. It is freezing outside right now. I like the cold temperatures. Nah, me too. It makes <laughs> us play guitar more. And... This cold, though? Like 22 degrees? Yeah. I got only... Zip my jacket up. Man. Got my jacket on. <laughs> now, see, the, the, <laughs> so what people don't know is them shirts right there come with installation. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The power of Haas keeps everybody warm. And we did not plan this. Like no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Those are cool shirts, man. You became like like a little celebrity here at, at Mountain Music, man. It's it's, it's been it's, crazy. It's fun to watch those TikToks, dude. It really. Oh is. man, it's so. The TikToks and stuff, and I, I was thinking this morning coming down here, hearing Wes do his little life before we, <laughs> oh, yeah. we got. He's got to get that life out before we can get you know going. Okay, or quiet on set. Yeah, I've, I've said that phrase before. Quiet on set. Yes, um, I hope nobody was upset over that. Um, but that little laugh, yeah. I, it's like I don't think I'd be good in like an actual movie studio or something because I have to. <laughs> I have to, like I, have to, I don't know. The first take is often it's always second take with me. It's the second yeah. take, and, <laughs> and our ideals and stuff are just. Well, which one did it start with? The uh, Kenny Chesney, the first one we did in the store with me. That was one of the first with you. Um, uh, one with you typing slow. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was my slow typing <laughs> skills. Yeah. Um, oh man, them hossism words. Yeah, hossisms. Ah, uh, oh, forgot <laughs> about the hossisms. Yeah, we need to do another one of those soon. We do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like the Tom mozzarella. Yeah. One was funny. <laughs> And that's like real stuff that oh, yeah. he'll say. Like, it's oh, not, it's yeah. me. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> but it's cool, though, man, because like it's really taken off. And you're the one like behind the camera, right? You yeah. kind of run that TikTok channel? Yeah. Um, uh, I, a lot of the ideas uh, are collaborative, like um, uh, Joni there and Kevin. Um, they, they have a lot of ideas. Sometimes yes. they're like to Haas is the star, and I'm kind of the... Director, producer, I Hitchcock, yeah. Spielberg, I mean, slash, I call him. <laughs> there we go. You 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 look more like a, a Kubrick. You, oh, you're yeah. Kubrickish. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's when, really good. When, when I don't have a beard, I have like a long chin. Some people call me Quentin Tarantino, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't enough blood in the TikToks for you to yeah. be Quentin Tarantino. You have to have Samuel L. Jackson at least once to yeah. be a Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really enjoying those, man. TikTok is is it's a cool little thing. I whenever it first came out, I just thought it was for like, you know, young people to lip sing and dance in front of a phone camera. I thought that's all it was, but no, like it's I've like followed channels on there with like like history people that do like little history lessons and, you know, uh did you know videos, like little fun facts, stuff yep. like that. I mean, heck, there's even like this car repair guy that I follow, and I learned how to like f- change my window out all on TikTok. It's pretty right, weird. It, it's like it's like Facebook and YouTube all in one, in a way. Hers is like a, I think them too is like a little mini movie. Yeah. Mm. You know, to us, what we, how we, I like the one we did. Where I was walking out the store and we was doing the Simple Mind song, Don't You Get It About Me, and Wes come up with that dreamy like effect, and I did Slow that. Slow motion and Yeah, everything. I love it, man. It was just, uh, I was seeing all it when it was done and seeing what he did with it was, it's just so much fun. That's a great point about like many movies. They're, most of them we try to keep at the 15 second or less mark because uh, the algorithm likes that. And uh, it's, Really complicated sometimes to be like, okay, I got we got three seconds to say, you know, that you know something that normally would take like ten seconds to say, but we got to do it because it. it's better <laughs> to have fifteen seconds than you know a minute or something. Um, yeah, that one with the eighties. Um, we, for a couple of weeks, we wanted to because that's like that's Haas's favorite song yeah. of all time. Don't it's you forget about song, me. Man. Yeah, that's it's my favorite. Song. I was like, the end of an eighties movie, walking slow, slow motion, and doing the <laughs> hand gesture and everything. I was like, I got to figure out a way to do that. It is. It was fun. So it just starts with like an idea, or like you. How, how much really like planning and research, time and development goes? <laughs> it starts into these right here talks. on the phone. Yeah. I've got. Uh, I don't know if the camera, I've got a whole like notes app 
of you know Whoa, like man. probably 30 ideas for the store and then my personal tiktok i've got a bunch of ideas and sometimes you know sometimes nothing ever happens but you know, we're trying to do something with with prince now because yeah. prince has an official tiktok yes. i had no idea until yesterday wait how like well there's a state i guess okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh because we were like oh let's you know do purple rain or something but like i was like oh there's no way you know that'd be copyright but no it's on there officially and it has mm-hmm. Prince Estate official TikTok check mark. I'm like, would he approve that? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> that, that's another point I was going to bring up. Like, I don't think Prince would really go for that. I don't think Prince would be much of a TikToker. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was very uh, to himself, wasn't he? He was yeah. a very. But the, um, but the video that we want to do now, it's going to be a. Uh, I don't know. Should I give it away or? Yeah. Okay. Well. When Prince did the the big guitar solo, when when Tom Petty and all of them was, they was doing the Beatles song, yeah, and he yeah. fell back into the <laughs> back into the crowd, and they yeah. well, we're gonna try to do me that way, and and uh, you're gonna fall back into a fall crowd? back in. Yeah. I'm gonna, it's like, gonna be Johnny and Kevin and probably like uh, Jason, like yeah, like he'll be playing a guitar and. There's a little step up there in the store, and he'll be falling back. And yeah, I'm gonna get we that have not tried solo. this out. This is all theoretical. <laughs> yes, and, <laughs> and I got to get my nerve up to trust <laughs> to know that they'll catch me. You know, uh, so well, you know, that would make the video if I fail. We <laughs> might need to make you sign a contract. To, yeah, you know. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ke- Kevin's definitely gonna be making y'all sign some type of contract yeah. for this. Yeah. Who, who would have thought that like you'd be having to like sign contracts for? TikTok videos to do at work. What a weird year 2022 is. I mean, that's, you know, like, that's not my main role at the store, but, like, that's a big role, like, that, you know, for, I mean, social media in general is huge, oh. but, like, TikTok right now is, isn't that's like, it, one, man. It's, it's the top, I think, or yeah. something. Um, like, to be paid to spend, you know, a couple hours every week making, you know, something that... A little mini movie. It's like, Kevin, stop listening out. Something I would do for free. I mean... You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's it, so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it's it's great, you know, advertising, though, man. Everybody has a TikTok. I don't care if it's Chinese-owned or not. It's fun. It's yeah. fun. Everybody oh. likes to have some type of opinion about it. Who cares? You know, it's Everybody's I, Chinese-owned. And the whole thing about, like, them, you know, getting the information, like, I guess... Chinese government, I don't know, but like, yeah, because the TikTok, you know, for you page, as they call it, like, it's too specific sometimes. Like, it's weird. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how the algorithm stuff works, but like, it's way more specific than Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. Well, I mean, when you, we got that one that had that many views on it, and and it took a few weeks, and and Wes showed me the numbers, how many one of my TikToks up there was. I couldn't believe it, and I still I had to get my glasses out. <laughs> That he had got over a million views. I I, I just would That's never. Wild. That one was on Instagram, but it was like, I don't. I have no idea how it happened. Like, I, like there's like it was just like a regular video, and like you're playing guitar, guitar. right? Or, you know, and like you're playing. We we're trying to sell a use less Paul. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Let's do. Usually we do pictures, but let's do a video. And yeah, it's got over a million yeah. views now. We we need to make That's a wild. TikTok about that. Yeah, I can't um, believe it. The, the, the first time that I seen you on TikTok was your personal <laughs> stuff, man. It was probably the double quick one oh, with, yeah. the, with the pizza roll. <laughs> yeah, I don't need this menu. <laughs> no, I don't. Man, th- those are good. And that's the thing too. Like, like everybody can become a movie director nowadays with this. Do you think that like with TikTok being as popular as it is nowadays, is the future of social media? Going to be video, short videos, definitely. Um, yeah. Like I don't know, I, think, I don't know how long we're going to be like doing the statuses for. You know, yeah, like yeah, I think in you know ten years, I don't know if people are going to be posting statuses as much. It's going to be videos. That's a great point. Like even on Facebook, you know, ten years ago it'd be like status update, and like you just have something normal. But like now, it's like it almost like it feels like it has to have a picture with it. Or video to be like for for it to be seen in the yeah. in the, the algorithm or whatever, but like it almost seems like it's less complete if you're just like I'm just going to type some words, like it's, yeah. it doesn't express everything you want to express or something. Yeah. Like I'm always thinking about like oh, I got to put a picture with this or a little video, video, um, okay. or I do like the, like the little background, like how yeah, you that, can put it, a background to your status. I, I have to do yeah. that because like if you're scrolling through, if you just post like a little yeah. you know, status, it'll get lost. This gets people's attention and. People like to be entertained. 
short, like like just yeah. a few seconds. Yeah. People you have know? a short attention span nowadays. Yes, man. yes. Oh, I mean, they want to like a movie. So, I mean, yeah. I, I can imagine going sitting in a theater for three hours watch a, you know. Yeah. Oh, a movie like The Godfather couldn't be made nowadays. No, oh, yeah. It takes somebody a week to watch a four-hour movie. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we're, I mean, probably not everybody, but like, you know, I'm definitely like that. And I didn't used to yeah, be like that. Yeah, oh, I'm the same way. Like, you know, in high school, like, you know, carrying around big novels and stuff and reading them in a couple of days, like, a couple of days now. Like I just I can't imagine how I yeah. did that back then. Um, like the yeah, I like fifteen second videos. Even you know a five minute YouTube video. I'm like, oh, let's scroll through this part. Let's uh, skip. Yeah. It. I can skip that part. You know, that's that's wild. Yeah, <laughs> man. You think that people is just where we're our lives is more in a hurry all the time that we don't have time to really to soak in like a like going seeing the Titanic for three hours. You yeah. know, sitting in the theater. Like, like, imagine you're trying to sell a movie to somebody, and it has, you know, two tapes like Titanic did. I, I remember that <laughs> Yeah, two. Kid. That's right. Yeah, they, had, they had two VHSs. You got to the end of one, it said, please put in tape two, and you had to put in the second one just to finish the movie. Kids would look at you nowadays like you're crazy if you tried to sell them a movie yep. like that. Yes, uh, I, I wonder if, like, movies will be shorter. It used to be, like, hour and a half. That was, like, the norm. I wonder if movies are going to get shorter now. Well, I mean, you thought, and here's something I like in music, like history repeating itself. I mean, mm-hmm. the first rock and roll songs were like so fast, like two minutes yeah. was a, yeah. you know, all the Chuck Berry stuff, and you know, like two minutes, you know, and people's, their attention span, that's just, you know, it's there again, yeah. short. I, th- I think we, we, we all like subconsciously realize this and we want to like, you know, pay attention to, or we want, you know, longer form media now because like with record sales being you know like this is like the best time in history for them and like you know sitting down and putting on you know a 45 minute album like that's a a long you know quote unquote long term you know yeah. task compared to a 15 second video and like it's weird like how that is more popular now but i mean i guess it's not even close to yeah. streaming or something yeah so but but i think that like you know it's just going to go back and forth uh, history repeats itself, and then whatever that took out, that history is going to repeat itself. Yep. I, I can kind of see that happening. It, who, who knows what the future is going to be like, man? I just know that it's going to be weird. Yeah. I always say well, it's weird. I always say weird science, weird, you know. <laughs> well, like, I mean, like TikTok is, I, I think that's going to be like the future of social media in general. But I really think that like this talk about the metaverse and stuff Ooh, is yeah. interesting. <laughs> Because I'm not smart enough to understand it, but I do know how popular virtual reality is becoming, and I can see people interacting like that in the future. It's already that in a way with social media because it's all online. It's all virtual. We're still interacting. All you're going to do now is put on some goggles and you'll be able to like <laughs> actually like shake hands with whoever it is that you're talking with. They can be in Japan, and you're sitting there shaking their hand. Who knows? It's going to be weird, man. Oh, that would be very... But kind of cool in a way. Yeah, we've had a yeah. lot of lunch conversations uh, with Kevin, too, about, like, I guess, like, you know, the meet. I mean, I can definitely understand it for, like, you know, in a classroom kind of setting, that would be awesome, or, like, a business meeting or something. Like, oh, that would be so convenient, but, like, other aspects of life, like they're going to be like dating in the metaverse. Lo- yes. What's love in the metaverse? You know, like wow, oh, that, that would be <laughs> that's that'd be the biggest topic. That's man. a concept album. I, yes. people I, listen. I, I take that. I'm going to use that idea. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't want to look this up on a work computer, but <laughs> but I do think that there is some type of like virtual reality brothel. Already. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, because so, I mean, you know, like the, they got the dolls, you know, and, and then all you got to do is put on some goggles. <laughs> so, like, I'm, you know, that that's, it, it's not dating, but in a way, like, people are finding love in this type of reality. Like, I think that some guy even, like, married one of those dolls, uh, like, last week or the week before I seen wow. that news story. <laughs> World's getting weird, man. Hey, Bud Bundy had one on Married with Children, man. It was <laughs> yeah. up, dog, didn't it? <laughs> that was in the 80s, man. So, you know. I forgot about that, man. Uh, <laughs> it worked for him, man. You know. You know, I was, some of the 80s movies, man, like, they hit the nail on the head a little bit, you know. I'm still right there, man. I'm yep. still stuck in 87. 
And with, with music, like, the s- tones and sounds from the 80s, are they feel modern again. Like, I remember, mm-hmm. like, when I was growing up and you know, the early 2000s or something, like, you know, the 80s kind of synthesizer sounds and chorus yeah, like, pedal sound, like, that was like, oh, that's cheesy. That's Now it's like, that's, you know. Stranger Things like, like the, brought you know, that back, didn't it? Like the, yeah, 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 definitely. Um, or the, the the weekend album, like I mean, the the new yeah. one that came out, I like, guess like there's a lot of '80s sounds. Like yeah, that. I, I love it, man. I love the scent. It's well, I don't I don't really know if it's like necessarily he, history repeating itself, but like it seems like EDM and stuff mm. like that has gotten a lot popular, and mm. the '80s were doing that like before anybody. Yes. Yes. A, a good song that I like to point out to folks is uh, Surrender by Cheap Trick. Oh, yeah. I think that was like either like early 80s or late 70s. That sounds like a song that would be that would come out today. You yeah. Know? It's, they had such a good sound back then that it's still relevant today. Oh, yeah. I mean, even the movie, uh, like the movie Breakfast Club, it's it's pretty true today. The, yeah. the kids in the movie and stuff, you know, but social media wasn't in it, you know, like it is now. But, uh, That'd be a boring movie if social media was in it. Like I, I, all, the boy, kids yeah. be, all the kids would be in detention just looking at yeah. Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> no, look at each other. Whole, that'd be the so, whole movie. So many plots would just not work at all yeah. after, you know, 2007 or something. Like, you know, Home Alone definitely wouldn't. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they could just FaceTime Kevin. Yeah, like, oh, he, he wouldn't, okay. yeah, he wouldn't be alone, man. It's, <laughs> for sure. Uh, it, it's it's a fascinating world we live in, but, you know, sometimes I miss those, like, old days before social media took over. Oh, I, I definitely. I mean, I think about when I was in high school and you, you, dreaming about, you know, I, my, I was – Jimi Hendrix tore my world up, you know, and yeah. Stevie Ray, but, you know, and I was like with the – my fuzz pedal here. I, I would never imagine that I would have my very own fuzz pedal one day, you know. So, but I, I dreamed, you know, yeah, that one day I, maybe you would and stuff. So that's cool. So, so can people buy that right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have them up in the store, and I'll sign it for you and everything. He, he's already signed mine. I got what number twelve, I think. At a yeah. Right now it's just twenty, but I mean, you know, who knows? Mine's number seven, and I, they sound. Who got number awesome. one? Uh, the the guy makes them. Yeah, the company, stomp underfoot. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're they're cool. I just would. That's such a huge. Uh, I love it. And that's, that pedal's based on like a fuzz face. Hendrix yeah, sound. Hendrix sound. Yeah. yeah, it's. Oh, that's cool, man. I, I figured you'd go that route. That's one thing that me and Hoss really bonded over. Whenever yes. I, I first met him, was Jimmy. That is by far my favorite guitarist of all time. As as a oh, little my. kid, I remember PBS. Uh, showing his show in London. I, th- I think it was London, where uh, Bob Dylan's mom was in the crowd, and I think like Keith Richards or Mick Jagger brought him on. It was like the, one of the first times that he lit the guitar on fire. Yeah. Uh, I, for- I forget what show that was. I have it on VHS. I recorded it. Is it the Monterey Pop Festival? It might be. It might be. Let, let me l- look into this a little bit. But Jimmy, you know... Ah, how how old was he when he passed? Was twenty seven? Twenty seven. Right? He was yep. part of the twenty seven club. Yeah, twenty seven. Just imagine if that man would have kept on. He was so far ahead of his time whenever it comes to guitar and, and rock and roll in general. Like wh- when was Voodoo Child released? Probably sixty eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 68. Oh, the Electric Lady Land album. What in? I mean, a, a song like Voodoo Child. Existing in not in the nineteen sixties, <laughs> yep. that song was so heavy, man. Yes, so far ahead of its time. Still to this day, one of the heaviest songs ever created. Oh, when I, that yeah. drop hits, man, you're like, oh, you you, you want to bust out a window? And it, and that's before you know, right before Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath. Yes. Travis. Um, can you imagine like being like a hippie in that era and then like listening to that and like. You know, like wow, <laughs> and it and it's and it comes from the the muddy waters, that that whole riff like you know it's the Delta blues, it's the muddy waters in him and with fuzz face on it and you know, stuff yeah. you know just so heavy sounding and and that song to this day still just like hearing it it's like brand new hearing it yeah man it just yeah That's that that, that you know point. like talking about songs yeah that kind of stand the test of time Voodoo Child like that I don't I don't know. 
how he was that far ahead of his time. I don't know if it was the drugs. I don't know what influenced <laughs> him that much. But man, the, what I, I would love to be inside of his mind just uh-huh. one time. I'd say he was had some wild thoughts it was the monterey pop festival yeah, monterey pop. yeah i got I, that was the first time that i ever seen Jimi hendrix play and i was like what am i even watching right now i'd never seen anybody play with their teeth before i was like what's going on right now and then he goes behind the head oh and yeah he lights the guitar on fire i'm like still yeah. still to this day man like there's not many guitars that stand out that much no, i don't think we've we caught up with him his music and stuff I see. Sometimes I think that that Prince could be a a future Jimi Hendrix because mm-hmm. you know he. Uh, it's hard because Prince had a lot of stuff. You know, if maybe if he would have stuck more rock and roll instead mm-hmm. of like going the pop route. Yeah, jazz, he might have been uh, in jazz. You know, he might been with Miles Davis or. Hendrix would have. Yeah, what would have Hendrix's '80s period been? Because like so many oh. bands from the '60s and '70s. I mean, I would argue most of them had like a a lesser '80s period. Yeah, um, not yeah. everyone, but you ever hear, hear uh, Neil Young's '80s yeah. period? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> Clapton, Clapton had a really had a good '80s. Clapton yeah. had a really yeah, good '80s, yeah. didn't he? And that's like I didn't used to think that, and I'm until John Mayer, John I'm Mayer, a John Mayer fanboy, I am, and like his last album, Saw Brock, is like it's '80s Clapton, and that, oh, that's yeah. like one of my yeah. most popular TikTok videos of me. Talking about that, um, it's silly, but <laughs> I also love the TikTok when they're like showing everybody in the store, and it's it's Kevin. Uh, what 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 is yeah. Kevin? Uh, I forget what you label him as, but you is the, is the John Mayer wannabe oh, yeah. or whatever, and then it's yeah. just Hoss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin was the um, the guy who plays Sweet Child of Mine. Just sweet Child of Mine, <laughs> which yeah. is you know it's like uh, that's a you know a lot of people coming coming to a guitar store do that, but like Kevin. Played, he started, didn't he start He's, playing guitar because of Slash? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, want, I guess the 80s are going to be making a comeback, man. With, with The weekend having his style and mm-hmm. John Mayer doing his thing, that's two of the biggest you know, pop artists of all time, yes. bringing that sound back. Yeah. And, and I think the other artists are going to jump on board, and that's going to be interesting to kind of hear what comes out of that. I think, yeah, pop is catching up to that, like the alternative and indie kind of music for the last... Ten years or so has kind of already been at that, like Tame Impala or something like that's. Yeah, hey. I love his work, but like it's it's eighties stuff. <laughs> Even um, the album cover, like with John Mayer, I mean, he's getting the whole Clapton vibe, like yeah, like dude. August or something there, which is cool, and it makes um it makes a lot of people too dig back into Clapton stuff. So you know, yeah, listen, I mean, we've been wearing yeah. it out, you know, listen yeah. to Clapton, you know, and it's it's eighty stuff, so it's good. Like the, the album called Behind the Sun, especially oh. like, and then August, August and, uh, and Journeyman. Journeyman, yeah, like, mm-hmm. the, I mean, the, people, you know, those are good albums, but like, th- those are, in my opinion, just as good as some of the, the more oh, you know, well-known it. albums. Yeah, I love it. Eighties were a wild time, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a time for music back then, man. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, and I think I'm right now like, I love the stuff like that and. The things we're getting to do t- today and stuff. I, I mean, these I love doing these TikToks. Don't you, Wes? They're just and uh, and we're so blessed to st- where we work at Mount Music Exchange. Just they're we're such a family there. I, whenever I had Kev- us doing this stuff. Whenever I had Kevin on here, I, I you know I had to give him his flowers, man, because like y'all have done so much for the music community here in Eastern Kentucky. Like I don't know if it could be thriving as much as it is without Mountain Music Exchange. Y'all really have done so much. And and with the TikToks, I think that that's just really made it explode here lately. Mm -hmm. Mountain Music's always been popular, don't get me wrong, but these TikToks, man, they... It's a lot of fun. Yeah, they've helped a lot. And uh, there's so so much fun watching. And I think people get a sense of that, that, like, there's no pressure when we make them. They're just, you know... Yeah, and they're... They're silly, usually, but it's, you know... So much fun and uh, just 
Bless, man. We're just truly blessed. I'm glad that y'all are able to get Joni in so many of them. Yes. Yeah, we're trying to get her more. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. I, I love Joni, but sh- she needs to she needs to get get on there more. I know how she is, but yeah. Joni, you need to get on there yeah. more. It's fun. I love the one where it's like, what's working in a guitar store like? <laughs> yeah, that was her idea. That was really yeah, man, yeah. She yeah. Joni yeah. comes up with a lot of cool yeah. ideas, and and Kevin does too. I mean, they just and that's our most popular one, I think, on TikTok. One, the one of the top. Um, yeah, all, 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 collaborative ideas are often the best. I, I they think. are. We'll we'll start with a, an idea. I'll, if I have something other, I give it to Wes, and Wes will take it to his Hitchcock place <laughs> in Spielberg, and then you know, I, I go in like my little in the little office or on the couch or something, and like I'm sure people walking by be like, oh, that guy's just you know <laughs> he's on his phone at work, and it's like, no man, I'm you know. I'm, I'm editing and whatever. <laughs> and it, and I tell and I've told you this many times. And I like I like when Wes will say, "Well, now Hoss, I hear Wes's <laughs> voice. I, I I mean, I like her TikToks when he talks like he's talking to me we, doing that yeah. stuff. We need to do that. Like I'll be behind it and I'll, and I'll start the TikTok of now Hoss and then something. <laughs> hey, and another one was funny. Now Wes hit the music Wes plays and stuff. The one of the TikToks I love is where he's playing that. Ambulance music, as I call it, is <laughs> ambience music. And I said, I told him, I said, man, you need some Stevie Ray in your life. And <laughs> Do they have Stevie Ray's sound on TikTok? Well, I did it. I played it I'm on sure. the guitar, man. <laughs> I did it on the guitar. What we did in that TikTok, that was so much fun. I was playing like my like movie soundtrack type <laughs> of music, which I love doing. But it's not everybody's favorite music. <laughs> and and Hoss calls it ambulance music. Like he like. What, really? Back to the, what we're talking like th- those phrases are like we, we don't have to think about them. No. Yeah, I just I'll write them down. We're like, oh, that's another Hossism. I'll write that down. We'll use it later. <laughs> and then I I come over to Wes. I said, Wes, man, you need some Stevie Ray in your life. Then 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 Wes put the thing me sitting on there playing a Strat, playing Stevie Ray's, you know, like right. something out of Texas Blood. And and well, that was a lot of fun. And and all in fifteen seconds. Like, in fifteen it's, seconds. It's so, yeah. That that's the that's the trickiest part about all of it. Oh, I've um, learned so much from Wes about. I mean, you know, how, how do you go about like learning what the algorithms are and and stuff like that? Where do you find that information? There's there some videos on TikTok like people who have accounts for like helping. You know, get oh. your yeah. There'll be um, uh, I'm not sure what they're called. But, you know, just like uh, here's you know a t- another tip of the day or of the TikTok week. TikTok tips. And uh, it's always like. Um, well, here's some here's some TikTok secrets for people, um, which I don't you know I don't think anybody fully understands it, but it's like watch time is the number one thing for like getting your videos to like TikTok to show your video to more people is like you know likes and comments and all that and shares are all good, but the actual just watching the whole video for 15 seconds is good. If you have like a minute long video, it's like if you if someone watches half of it, that's good. Um, it's I mean it's and I don't I just don't understand how. Like these yeah. computer systems and 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 I, mean, I I really have no idea. Like I don't understand computer code or anything. Like how they know, you know, quote unquote, know how to know how to do these things. Like it's, I it's they, but they but do. they do somehow hey, they do. Listen, I I would never imagine in my life with like these TikToks, and I'm just so blessed that I would be signing T-shirts. Yeah, it's wild. I, yeah. I would. I, and stuff, signing pedals, and I, I would never, I would never imagine that being a kid in the eighties. I've been really doing that. Increased lately, like, I mean, you know, yeah. When we first started the shirts, you know, maybe one or two a week, but now it's like one so, or two a day of yeah, people who just. I, you know, I, yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me which side I keep it on. Hold on. He's got a, a sharpie <laughs> with him, just in case. <laughs> It's just crazy. I've, I would have never thought that like you'd be so famous you're carrying around a Sharpie. Now, that's when you know you've made it right there where you have to have the Sharpie. It's crazy. Good I, for I, you, I, man. That's awesome. Oh, man. I, I'm blessed, and I'm blessed by Mount Music Change. All the, that's my family. I'll I, I'm I'm just thankful for y'all, them. man, because like not only do you, you, you hook people up with you know good equipment and all that, but also you – Everybody there has such a incredible knowledge of music, Very, and, and I yes. think that like yeah. you know us talking about the Allman Brothers and, and Stevie Ray Vaughan, Prince, and, and artists like that, you're keeping these names alive. And if some young kid comes in there to buy a guitar, show him a Stevie Ray Vaughan chord, they mm-hmm. say, "Who's yeah. Stevie Ray Vaughan?" Yes. They yep. may go YouTube them and 
you know, he, hear whichever great song from him. But, you know, you're keeping that music alive in a sense. And that's it, it's it's so important. Nowadays, too, yes. because we're losing so many of those artists. Like we were just talking about Tom yeah. Petty, you know. Every young kid growing up should hear American Girl at least once. It's 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 just important to keep that. Uh, we touch. Going. And I think that y'all do keep. We are blessed, and you know we love our customers. I mean, that's you it's, couldn't. It's, it's so fun every day. So like, fun. Yeah. It, it ain't a day of work. It's it's so fun to be touch. Our yeah, our customers are. We're blessed with just the greatest people, I mean, I, ever. I'm also thankful for y'all's vinyl shop as well. Oh. But, <laughs> and, and, you know, like, it's crazy, too, how popular that has gotten. Oh, yeah. Like, whenever I first, you know, started shopping there and buying vinyl, like, it wasn't that big at the time. Like, I was just a music geek, and I loved collecting all forms of music. Dude, I have eight tracks, I have cassettes, I got CDs, vinyl, you name it. But now it's just exploded. And I've seen some report a few weeks ago where vinyl has outsold CDs for the yeah. first time in I forget how yes. many years it's Since been. That's wild. Days, yeah. it's, Walmart's vinyl section is bigger than their CD section. Yeah. This guy on CDs are... The thing I think, too, what I always thought was cool about records growing up from that, uh, it's a physical piece of... In front of you, that when you you turn on you that vinyl, listen to that album, you got that you can look at all the artwork mm-hmm. on it and open it up inside. You can't do that much to a CD. No. It's just different, a different vibe. You know, you have a big cup of coffee, man, and yeah. and you take in that experience. And you'll have buddies that you listen to music with. That's and they'll like, hey, I'm gonna share this record to you. I love that. And yeah. They'll share that music to you. You know. One of my favorite things about used vinyl, and, and you know, every collector is different. I know a lot of collectors don't like this, but I love when people have written on them. And, and I know that that decreases the value tremendously. But, you know, sometimes, like, you just you see a name or you see some phrase or whatever that they've written on there, and you just start wondering, like, who wrote that? When did they write it? How many pairs yes, of hands did it go through to end up with me? Yeah. You yeah. know, it's it's wild to think about, man, because especially like with, you know, original used vinyl, if you get like an original Bob Dylan, you know, like that was this from the 60s. And here, 50 something years later, it's still around and it's it's still here. Like CDs, I don't. Yeah. I, I don't know how good a condition that they're going to be in 50 years yeah. from now, especially if they're used. I've seen uh, you know articles about that where it's like yeah, CDs and DVDs and <clears throat> Blu-rays like they have such a you know like shorter shelf life than than albums in terms of like even if you don't do anything, keep them in the case out of the sunlight, you know, normal temperatures like they will that will degrade in you know so many decades or whatever. Oh yeah, I mean wow. you got a little a while, scratch but, on yeah. a CD and it gives. <laughs> I, I've seen records, man, that. Looks, I mean, like drug up down the four lane, man, and they'll yeah. play, you know. Dust them off or something. Then, yeah. yeah, and I hear <laughs> that bacon sizzling, cracking. I love that. It's it's, it's yeah. more human, like, yeah. you know. It's. it's I, I, well, uh, I also like how you brought up the point of, like, you know, how it's an experience. See, whenever you download a song, you just see the album art. But whenever you get a, a record that somebody has really put some time into, like some bands yes. just released it with a little bit of whatever. But you had, like, you know, Cheech and Chong's Big Bamboo that yeah. had the big paper inside of it. <laughs> or you, you got these, uh, you know, an album like, you know, the Fillmore, Allman Brothers, yeah. with, with all the information on it. And it has the pictures and stuff oh, like that. Man. I mean, like, it's like you're reading a book while you're listening to the album. It's such, it's such a more meaningful experience. And also... You could just tell how serious people took albums back then. Yeah. It wasn't about a hit single. It wasn't about, you know, w- whatever yeah. commercial success they were trying to find at the time. Like, they were trying to make a record, one that you had to listen to from front to back. Yeah, in that order. Like, they, that was their vision. And, um, like, it wasn't just a collection of songs. It was... Like there's oh, a I mean, point to it. They, dark Side of the Moon. I mean, yeah. come on, Pink Floyd. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> well, maybe this, like, this is cool. Yeah. The, oh, my, I can't talk my wife into letting me do that at the house, but somehow I talked my boss into it. So a big shout out to Adam oh, Gearhart for I'm that. Still, I have posters in my house I, and stuff. I mean, I'm still old school and the, 
<laughs> a lot of my guitar videos I put on Facebook and stuff, I you can see behind me all my cool posters. I, I just yeah. don't outgrow that, man. I love it. But <sighs> it's it, cool. Yeah, man, it's you know, your mind just rattles though. And you're like, how like how did David Lee Roth think of that album cover? You know, like, it's <laughs> yeah. just it's and wild. Talking about weird cats. It just, <laughs> I mean, the Joe Cocker <laughs> one, man, that's cool. And, and, but people just took music so much serious back then. And, you know, nowadays you have a lot of one-hit wonders. Yeah. And, yeah. and I think that it's because they're trying to focus on that that one, one. song, you know, or, or whatever it is. Back in the day, like, you had to get the whole album. I know you saw, yeah. like, 45s and stuff like that, but people really just went and bought the albums. Like, you know, going back to, to Pink Floyd. I love a concept album like that mm-hmm. that you have to listen to from front to back. Like kind of Sgt. Pepper's Only Hearts Band. You don't hear many concept albums anymore. No, you get you take in the whole experience, the whole album. And uh, our experience, Hendrix, I mean, that album still just yeah. tears my world apart, you know. Or Electric Ladyland. Yeah. They're so modern sounding still. Like, yeah, no, I mean, it's, that's crazy. Like, Wait, you know, some albums will, you know, you'll say like, "Oh, that sound, that, that sounds dated." Like, none of that yeah. stuff does. That's, you know. No, he was like ahead of his time, man. On What's that. that one Hendrix song? Uh, six, seven. If, if six were nine. Six, yeah. If six were nine. Oh yeah. my god. That's off the Axis Bolas Love yeah, album, dude. sixty-eight. Or sixty-eight too. <laughs> Those three albums and then like Band of Gypsies, like that was like in you know three or four years, and that's it. That's his whole career. It's like sixty six to seventy. Yeah, I know. They keep coming out with albums, you know, of him and uh, yeah, the Hendrix Estate. It's like we found this new concert. Yeah, that's like you know an audience member recorded it or something. It's like yeah. oh well, official release. We but, you know, one. he never quit playing. And I have, well, has to tell us that. I mean, he, I don't think he slept any. You know, he no. just. Played all the time to have that many songs that we keep finding. Did Did you hear about him being in the army? Oh yeah, yeah he was yeah, in the first man. airborne. Yeah, Kentucky. Yeah. He was he was stationed out in Kentucky, Fort Campbell. Yep. I think. Yep. Jump hey, out airplanes. Yeah, and he uh, him broke his foot. <laughs> he <had> <laughs> yeah, to get out of there. Imagine that, man. We almost had a GI Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, uh, I remember the first time I saw uh, Jimi was I set up one night. It was on KET at Woodstock. I set up all night to watch Jimmy play, and I was just <laughs> because back then we didn't have our phones to see everything and stuff. So I just couldn't believe, you know, seeing somebody play guitar like that. Like, and and that's crazy too. Like whenever you think of Woodstock, like you th- you know that it was an amazing concert, but Jimi Hendrix, the very last performer on the very last day, didn't he play in front of? It was only like twenty. Thousand. It wasn't like, as many people. in the morning. Yeah. yeah, like it was real. Like a lot of people were not there. Everybody had done left. And still, like he's one of the most talked about performances of the oh, entire Oh, he was on Woodstock. fire, man. The national anthem, I mean, just was. Oh, wow. I could imagine a guitar sounding like that. And the, oh. th- Didn't he say in the, it was that or some other concert where he's like, you know, like near the last, and he's like, oh, man, we're just jamming. You can leave if you want to. Like, who would leave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, man. I've been right there. I'm still there, man. <laughs> and, and apparently, like him and uh, Eric had a lot of like. Well, I, I don't think that Jimmy really had any beef with him, but Eric, the first time that uh, they played together, I think like Eric like let him play a little bit, and Eric got jealous because he didn't, like he wasn't expecting Jimmy to be that good. Yeah. he said he cried. Like he went and you know he yeah. I think Jimmy or Jeff Beck and all Jeff of them. Like, like, oh my, what? <laughs> you know, yeah. they. The, I think what the. You know, they know that there's only this dude was a freak of nature. Yeah. Be yourself. And I think one of the guitar players back then just was Roy Buchanan. That just kept, just Roy kept playing his telly the way he did. And yeah. but them boys couldn't, you couldn't compete with Jimmy, man. He was just. Yeah. I, it, it's weird how good he was. Like, it, yeah. it really is. Like, like you said, like, how many albums did he have? Like, in his like, three, three studio? studio, and then and those came out in two years, sixty yeah. seven, yeah. And then you know, Band of Gypsies, the big uh, live album, oh, Woodstock, man. and stuff like. That's so, it. so it was like like a, like official career was less than five years. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And yeah. like we're still talking about him today, almost fifty years later. So many great artists and bands had you know relatively short careers. Not everybody, but you know, the Beatles. It's like what eight years. Led Zeppelin's a decade. I mean, Stevie Ray's was uh, just 
three or four short, I mean, four albums. Pink, Floyd, Pink Floyd's great period is, you know, you know, most of the 70s, but it's just, you know, it's less than 10 years yeah. before they, you know, kind of. Nah. The Doors, <laughs> yeah, The Doors. Oh man, I love The Doors now. Few years, That's, yeah. But Jimmy's was weird, man. Like I don't see how he got that good. Like who was the the guy that they said like sold his soul to the devil? Robert Back Johnson. Robert, Robert, Robert Johnson. <laughs> like I, I can see that too. But like Jimmy, man, if anybody sold their soul to be that good, it <laughs> yeah. was Jimmy. Like it, it's hard to fathom that. Like how can you be that good in that short of a period of time to make like you're making Eric Clapton jealous? Like, yeah, and he's like, making him cry like because some, of how good you are. Like, so much of his playing and his style, like we we don't even think about it now in terms of like it's just so like every guitar player who plays rock music or blues, like yeah, you go back to that style without even thinking about it. But like at the time, like he's that's you know, I mean, he's influenced by the blues and Muddy Waters and people who came before him. But like he's just he's creating oh, electric yeah. guitar that you know modern like yeah. him like like Hendrix and then I think you know, Eddie Van Halen. And then that's it for like the two big like you know the names that just completely changed. Oh yeah, how everybody approaches. And you, you think about when Eddie come out with well, first Van Halen seventy eight, yeah. when you had at that time, could you imagine being in nineteen seventy eight and you had disco music was what's <laughs> what. Which I've danced to it, you know, and I I like it. Yeah, it kisses and, disco period. Yeah, that, that was good. I but I mean, it. I think we can all admit now it's, it's it kisses imagine, disco period's good. Yeah. Can yeah, you imagine yeah, hearing yeah, eruption in '78? You know, and an, another cat back then in '78. I had Dire Straits, Martin Offler, mm-hmm. The Sultans of Swing. That that was pretty devastating. I had the Bob Dylan this songwriting and singing and stuff. You know, was uh, do, 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 do. oh man. Yeah, but I, I was. Who's like after them? Like, I was at maybe Tom Morello in the nineties. Tom would probably like would be yeah. the last guitar player who's like just influenced you know thousands and thousands of guitar players to be like oh that's you know when, when you hear someone playing like oh that's influenced by Tom Morello or these are like, very few the, man that's they just, the last one I think I don't even know if you'd have like Rage Against the Machine if it wasn't for a song like Voodoo Child ah very true yeah. Man, yeah. that's crazy to think about. I, um, imagine uh, what Stevie Ray Vaughan would have been if it wasn't for Jimi Hendrix. It definitely would, yeah. made made his play. And I mean, the thing I love now, I do love about Stevie Ray that he's influenced by Jimmy a, a whole lot, but he still has Stevie Ray in it. He's influenced mm-hmm. by the whole Texas blues scene, Lightning Hopkins, yeah. you know, that kind of. Lonnie Mack. Lonnie Mack's another the, big influence on the him. The Edge. I mean, that, you know, oh, people, we, yeah. oh that the TikTok. So. It looks like the Edge, too, kind of. <laughs> um, but like, in terms of influencing ambient music and like modern worship yes. music, like, it's all from. The edges '80s playing like that's yeah, like any time a guitar player does like the kind of like oh it feels like I'm floating in the sky like that's the edge. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I always said that YouTube, you know, their music, the edge and stuff. He he was his sounds were like landscapes of just sounds and colors, and he was different than the other guitar yeah. players. You know, yeah. I a lot of people they they think I listen a lot to. Jimmy and Stevie all, Ray all the time, which I do, but I love that new wave and that kind of sound too, because it yeah. takes me from that and makes that stuff not stale. And exactly. You know? argue, a lot of that is is harder to play than. Oh yeah, because yeah, like if you the like delay the, sound, it's so in a certain rhythm that like if you mess up one note, you're you know that's it. The that song's de- over. That <laughs> delay repeats it out there. That bad note, man. Like you'll hit a note and then it'll like repeat in a certain rhythmic pattern. And like, if you hit, if you mess it up, yeah, it, I, I you're like done. I like <laughs> his sound, and he did, and that's cool. How like I don't know how to come up with a TikTok of us doing that. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if Kevin or somebody said you look like the Edge. It might have been on. It was a random comment, some some random TikTok person. And so we <laughs> we t- we did did a TikTok, and it was the inventory time of ours. Yeah. So it was that was a. And YouTube's music's on TikTok officially, so we, we did. Uh, so I haven't found what I'm looking, looking for. for it. Oh, that's so much fun! <laughs> and I'll just say, did Joni at the end of it? She's because he, he he was just like, oh, you know, you find what you're looking for, Joni, and she just turned. To, Shut up, Hoss. Shut up, Hoss. <laughs> <laughs> that was so. Did you much. do look like Edge? I, 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 I've <laughs> never seen that until y'all just start talking about it. But yeah, I can't I can't unsee it now. The Especially Joe with Sat- the toboggan, man. The Joe <laughs> Satcherini one too. So John, you, <laughs> that one was a fun video to do too. You yeah, that one was. Uh, man, we had so much fun up there. It's just the best 
best place how, ever. Um, you know, like last year, I haven't even been on TikTok for a whole year, even personal. Like it was April or so of last year. And I started making just, you know, dumb videos that are like the, the first one that really took off was uh, Eastern Kentuckians at a Mexican restaurant which with that country song in there, too. And like I, I, that's five minutes of, you know, me just all oh, this will be funny. You know, I post it like midnight on a Saturday night. I almost didn't post it because I was like, this is this is silly. Like nobody, <laughs> everybody's like, this is almost, you know, embarrassing. And then, you know, it's like, that's what started. And then Kevin saw all those, and he was like, yeah. man, we, you should have a store account. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't start it with being like, oh, Haas is going to be the star. He just, his inner star just came out. <laughs> I don't know. It just, man, I, I don't know I just how I, well, it came about. Well, I think that it can be like a big confidence boost for a lot of people. Like TikTok can. Oh, I mean, like, not, it, yeah. you, that's you, a good point. You, you become, Absolutely. Yeah, you become like a like your own creator. You know, you're not just posting a picture. You're having to use your voice. Yeah. You're picking out whatever style of music that you want. It's yeah, man. It, it can uh, kind of bring people I do out my of their sunglasses. comfort cell. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do a lot of sunglasses. You know, I'm, I'm trying. I want to gather up as many '80s looking sunglasses as I can. You know, <laughs> it's but that's. That is, and that does put confidence in people and stuff. Yeah, I, you know I, mean? feel, I feel more like myself on TikTok than any other platform, even even than playing guitar, I think. Like, I feel more like myself. Like, that's the real and me. And Wes is, TikTok. is so good. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, he is so good at doing these. The uh, You know, hey, he'll, it's like, I, to me, the one you did with my favorite song, Don't You Forget About Me, and me going out and doing that, and he did that dreamy, like, it just was it's cool, man. I, I, I love it. Like, did you like? Did you think that you were going to be like almost a a, a director of videos mm-hmm. no, in this year? Not. It's weird, man. Like, like, I just it's it's I nobody could have seen this coming. I don't think. Yeah, and uh, so many things turn out you know great yeah. because of that. Like, people come to the store, recognize Haas, they'll recognize Kevin from videos, recognize me. Yeah, um, I've been recognizing Walmart one time around here after the that first uh the east kentuckians at a mexican restaurant video yeah. and i mean it was just you know one, one person but like that's that's i've never been recognized you know like that i'm before. still in <laughs> all of this man I, I i never would like i said i never would imagine in the 80s i would have to keep a sharpie man beside, <laughs> but sign my house man you know i really am happy for all the success that y'all have had though man and i'm really looking forward to uh what comes of this too because that's another thing like this is just the beginning y'all haven't been doing these for very long have you no. since august probably something um yeah about august uh, uh, sometime in the not, summer so and, and i've just been doing it since april personally so not yeah i year, mean it's yeah. uh <laughs> it's crazy man Eddie, uh, i'm i'm humbled by it all I I'm got started saying. on it because uh, my ten year old cousin just she somehow she knew about it. I didn't know I didn't know anything about it until mm. a year ago or so. Like I, I really I didn't I know it to to us, yeah. you know. Yeah. And like it's, it's yeah, it's it, it's changed our lives. I mean, it's, it's, I mean I was it's never, a beautiful thing, man. It really is. It is. I mean it's a it's a good feeling and uh, and I always say, man, you know, I'm still Hollis, man. I love people. <laughs> And the thing I appreciate about it is, like, there's no news on there. There's mm-hmm. no, like, that's the thing I don't like about Facebook. There's a lot of negativity. A yes. A lot of negativity. And whenever it comes to TikTok, man, you don't see any of that. Those well, videos, it, yeah. it kind of depends on who yeah. you follow, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But if you follow the right people, you're not going to yeah. see any of that. Because, like, so many people, when it, when a negative video comes up, they just keep scrolling and, like, algorithm doesn't like I do. That. Yeah. I do myself. I and, you know. I yeah. And even, well, even then, like you can report people on there and stuff like yeah. that. I have this one thing called Appalachian Adventures. No, I changed it. What did I change it to? <laughs> <laughs> I changed my TikTok name, just like like literally the day before yesterday. So I have to uh, remember what I changed it to. Appalachian American Company. Okay. Oh yeah. But uh, but uh, oh, I got But on the, on there out. though, you can uh, like you can report people because like sometimes I'll like I just post videos of places around here to kind of like build up tourism and stuff like that oh, yeah, yeah. and, and, if, yeah. and if somebody gets on there and like something negative say you just report them and go about your business i guess you might can do the same thing on facebook but i've just never looked into it that much tiktok it just seems like and a lot of people also like if somebody will say something negative and we don't get to it right away like people kind of let that person know that oh hey, yeah you're being a little bit of a d-bag yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely stick in the mud and yeah. it's cool too, like how it's not just ten year olds anymore. I have 
there's grandparents that I know of with TikTok accounts. Yeah. It's the future of social media. I seriously and entertaining think that. people, you know, it, that too. Yeah, and, and even like other social media outlets are going with their own form of TikTok. Like oh, Facebook yeah. has yeah. reels now. Yeah, Instagram and Facebook, and that's that one video that was that hit off a million. at a million. Um, was on Inst- because of Instagram and Facebook, like showing it to, on both platforms. Yeah. Um, YouTube Shorts is, I don't know. That was it's, thing. it's, I don't, I don't understand it yet. I think that's the thing. But like, yeah. it's, they're all these, they're just trying too hard to be TikTok. Like, it's, yeah. it's so obvious. It's almost like, I mean, that's just come on, do your own thing, you know. But um, I, I don't, th- I think it'll be a, wh- a while before TikTok is replaced. Just because, is it? I swear, I, I think I saw something about like it being. The most yeah. used site, even more than Google, and there's no way that was true. I swear. I, yeah, I, well, yeah, I don't know about Google. Maybe, it maybe was, more than Facebook. It like, was. Who knows? It was like the top of. I, I don't well, know. Let's see how long it's been I around. Because like this, 2016. <laughs> I don't remember TikTok in 2016. That was probably when it was, it was still in China. <laughs> it was <laughs> catching on. And, and it's still it's, catching on, man. Yeah. And I think the people that jump on it right now are going to reap the benefits of the future. Yeah. It's it's the new thing. But, boys, congratulations on all the success of TikTok, the success of the store. You know, I, I know that it's doing great, and that's so good to hear, man. Whenever I first visited Mountain Music there at the at the old place where Tony's studio is now, yep. <laughs> I just, like, it's, it's so beautiful to see how much that business has grown and how much – the employees and Kevin and everybody has just thrived in this industry. So congratulations on everything. And for the people that want to pick up a cool shirt or a pedal or follow the TikTok accounts, how do they do that? Uh, uh, MountainMusicExchange.com is the main website for uh, Haas's pedal and shirts. And I mean, yeah. you know, feel free to stop by the store. Store anytime. Absolutely. Yeah. You're there every day, aren't I'm you? I'm six days a week. <laughs> uh, nice. 10 to 6. 10 to 6. Um, uh, TikToks are just like at Mount Music Exchange um, or you know TikTok.com slash at Mount Music Exchange um, or check out our Instagram and Facebook. We have you know we'll share them on there as well. Yes, and uh, yeah, feel, definitely you know if you're in the area, feel free to stop by anytime. We, I mean, that's like that's that's probably the best part in terms of oh just, yeah, just, just hanging out with people. Like it's 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 it doesn't it's not a job i mean it's it's, it's not a job so, it's not i've never been at a at a job like this before where it's like it's you look yeah. so forward to going to work every day and mm-hmm. it's a, something new and touching people and see them getting that big martin guitar for the first time or that stratocaster and oh, i'd it, say that's a crazy experience it is like, the best you, you're literally like changing somebody's life and, and these yeah. kids might grow up be one day they might be the next Jimi hendrix stevie ray Vaughan's or yeah. That's Nirvana, what you know. We always like to tell people, like you know, especially beginners, like every guitar player you've ever loved was at your level at some point. No one yes. is born with like yeah. the the ability to shred. You know, yeah, especially no. the physical ability. That's the you got to develop it. I yeah. mean, we could have, uh, you know, a future Eddie Van Halen. You never know. That store. I, I think mean. you know another a future Haas. Oh. No. Hey, <laughs> I hope you so. Never know, man. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. History does repeat itself. Uh, I'm truly humbled. But boys, thank y'all again. This has been a lot of fun, boys. Yes, a lot of fun. (laughs) And I encourage everybody to go check out Mountain Music. And like I said, boys, thank y'all so much for everything. Congratulations on everything. And whenever my wife will let me spend some money, I'll be down there. We'll have some (laughs) fun. Look forward to seeing you, Eli. We'll give you a great deal. Yes, sir. (laughs) See y'all next week, folks. Boom. There we go. That was fun. That That was fun.